So good morning, everyone. This, sorry, good morning, everyone. This may very well be our last community informational message of the school year. And I'm gonna start us off with a few updates. First, I'm really pleased to share that our backpack program will be running during the summer months thanks to the volunteers from the Sackett's Harbor Central School staff. Um, they will be shopping, packing, and delivering um, each week. And so um, we're, we're excited that our families who've been part of this program will continue to do so and be part of that through July and August. Um, we are always taking new families if there is a need, so simply call us at Sackett's Harbor Central School and we'll add you to the list. Uh, we always welcome donations as well to our school's food pantry and we um, accept those donations right at the main entrance and uh, the best time to deliver those would be Monday through Friday, anytime between seven and three. Uh, the other um, update I have for you um, pertains to graduation. We had a beautiful two days of graduation appointments um, last week and we have released the graduation sneak peek on our Facebook page. I strongly encourage folks to take a look at that. We are so excited to see the entire video on June 24th, we are encouraging everyone in our school community to gather on porches, in yards, and along the parade route to cheer, on, to cheer on our seniors as we drive through the village in the town of Houndsfield. The parade route is on our Facebook page and it's also on our website. And then the parade will culminate in a gathering of only our graduates and their immediate families to watch the live premiere showing of the graduation video um, at the polo fields. Uh, we are going to be making a few tweaks to, um, to our graduation plan given the governor's most executive order and our graduation planning team, which is comprised of staff, students, um, that being members of the class of 2020 and parents will um, get together this Thursday and talk more about um, the final details. And then my final update before I turn it over to Mrs. Horak has to do with our reopening. At this time, I have no, no um, concrete details to share, but I will, I will um, tell you that the transition team to reopen has met now twice and will be meeting again next week. Uh, we are um, doing a ton of research in so many um, topics, on so many topics to ensure that we are ready to roll as soon as, as, soon as we are able to open our doors. Um, this summer will no doubt be a very busy one as we um, have to make a number of adjustments and, and, and uh, to our plans. And um, but we're looking forward to re returning to some semblance of normalcy in the fall. So just rest assured, we will continue to keep our school community updated throughout the months of July and August and welcome any phone calls or visits if you ever need anything. So at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Mrs. Horak who uh, has a number of things to share with you about the end of the school year. And I'm actually just gonna to piggyback off of that transition um, discussion that Ms. Gaffney just talked about. So that we still have our plans for kindergarten registration are still up in the air. Um, we're not sure if we're going to be able to do that in August or if it'll wait until the beginning of the school year. But so if you have um, children that are starting kindergarten or pre-kindergarten, that registration process is on hold at the moment. Um, we really want to do it in person. Um, we feel like that's the best way to get to know you and your child. So um, there will be more information um, coming in the, the next few weeks regarding that as the governor finalizes his decisions about reopening. Um, I just wanted to take a few minutes to let all of um, our parent teachers know that this week is we are wrapping up instruction for all in, all students. So next Monday through Thursday, we're going to be used as makeup days for middle and high school students. We will wrap up the year with the elementary students and any other students that would like to participate with some fun virtual end of the year activities. And I'm actually going to share my screen with you right now. So I can give you a sneak peek at what those look like. So we've created, um, we've created so, this. Um, so on Monday, we June fifteenth, we would like you to, um, if you so choose, to um, create a time capsule. And actually, Miss Gaffney um, purchased a time capsule for all of us here at school um, to um, participate in this activity as well. So we're going to be putting. Um, some mementos of 2020 into the time capsule and we're going to bury it here and dig it up in 10 years um, but we'd like to encourage you to do some of those same things at home it has been a crazy year so we want to um, document this historical unprecedented time 
On Tuesday, June 16th, uh, we'd like to encourage you to take virtual field trips. Uh, there are so many cool museums, national parks, and zoos and aquariums that you can visit online. Um, so check out one of our um, cool suggestions. The um, This um, this calendar is going to be shared with you via email and um, our Facebook page and our family connection page, but all the links on here, you can actually click right on for the virtual field trips. And on Wednesday, June 17th, you get to have your very own virtual field days. Unfortunately, this year, um, we're not going to be able to have our fun field days that we usually do um, that culminate with ice cream, but you can do it at home. So you're going to see how many points you can earn. And if I just... I'm going to go to the next slide. You will be able to see there's all these different um, options for, um, you know, having your virtual field days at home. So have some fun with it with your family. Um, Wednesday, also, um, we will begin our technology and book return. And I'll talk about that in just a second. And then on Thursday, June 18th, which is our very last day of school this year, you can wrap up um, our school year with a game day. So play any games with your family. If you have any outdoor games or indoor board games, depending on the weather, um, that will help you celebrate the end of this crazy school year. So uh, just so parents know, the fourth quarter officially ends on June 18th. Report cards, AIS progress reports, and special education progress notes will be mailed home to you on Friday, June um, 26th. So I'm going to stop presenting my screen right now and then i'm going to come back so, um i want to talk to you just for actually i'm going to present one more time sorry i have this other um, for Wednesday and Thursday, I want to just share with you about the schedule for textbook and um, technology return. So on Wednesday and Thursday, June 18th, students will be able to come to school with their families to return um, any school items that they've borrowed um, to use at home during this time. So... Um, all Chromebooks, other borrowed technology, including calculators and textbooks, library books, and any fees for the cafeteria or library will also be able to be collected during these times. You're also going to be able to pick up any awards, summer packets, um, goodies, and if you sign up for the Hay Memorial Summer Reading Books for your children, you can get those at that time as well. Um, and then um, uh, the PTO always like to um, sponsor an ice cream social. So this year they're generously donating ice cream for all of our students as a sweet way to end this crazy year. Um, we're going to do things a little bit differently. So we're going to have a drive-through drop-off pickup system set up in the parking lot by the basketball courts for this. And this is the map that we're going to be using. So it's going to be a one-way entrance and exit, and you'll be asked to remain in your cars at all times. Um, you're going to also be asked to come at specific designated time. We have times set up on Wednesday and Thursday for you to return your items by last name. So on Wednesday, um, and we're doing this, we're starting at 12 o'clock on Wednesday afternoon. Um, if your last name begins with A or B, you'll be able to come at that time. At 1 p.m., if your last name begins with C, D, E, or F, at 2 p.m., G, H, I, J, O, K, and at 3 p.m., L, M, N, um, L, M, or N. And then between four and six, only on Wednesday, if you have a family that can't make any of those afternoon times on either day, um, we will be here from four to six collecting items and serving ice cream as well. And then on Thursday, um, we'll do the, the last half of the alphabet with O, P, Q, and R starting at 12 o'clock at 1 p.m. S, T, U, or V, and at 2 p.m. Um, w, X, Y, or Z. Um, if none of these dates or times work for you, please call Mrs. Cheryl Crandall at 315-646-3575, and you can set up a time to come um, drop your things off here. Um, we just want to thank you in advance for your patience and participation um, and cooperation on these dates. It might be a little slow going, so you might have to, things might get a little backed up um, coming into the parking lot, but um, just know we're going to get you through as quickly as we can and as safely as we can. Um,
again, all the information about the last week of school next week and um, the technology and book reading will be shared with you via email and we will be posting it to our Family Connection page and Facebook page. And if you have any questions, as always, please feel free to reach out to Ms. Gaffney or myself here at school. Um, we just want to thank you for helping us uh, have a successful end to our school year. Um, we know how much um, work you guys have had to do at home as well. So we thank you for being the teachers at home <laughs> while we um, are trying to, you know, we tried to set up some really quality learning opportunities for your students and then, um, you know, that you could facilitate at home. So we really appreciate all of your time and effort supporting all, all of our efforts here. And um, just one last, I think one last plug, if you have not um, voted for our school budget and still would like to do that, we're still accepting um, ballots by mail. Is that correct, Ms. Gaffney? That is correct, that uh, they should be in transit by now. Um, and the, the deadline has been extended to uh, Tuesday, June 16th, and ballot counting will take place at 5 p.m. that evening. Okay. And if any, if any, um, community member wishes to view the ballot counting, they uh, will need to request the uh, uh, link from Mrs. Rose um, at the district clerk at 315-646-3575. All right. Well, okay. enjoy the last few days of the school year. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us. All right. We look forward to seeing everyone next week. All right. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.